I'm Stephanie Kent, an educator here at the Blanton Museum of Art. Welcome to our STEAM series, where we use works of art in our collection to explore science, technology, engineering, math, and of course, art. In this lesson, we're exploring the science part of STEAM. When you think of art and science, you may not think they really go together. One's more analytical, the other one's more creative. They don't really seem to intersect, right? But what if I told you you could think like an artist and a scientist just by looking at a single work of art? Let's begin. Today we're exploring a work of art by the artist Pete Duggins. He creates works of art using all sorts of materials. He draws, sculpts, and creates video. This work, Black Room South, is a large fabric tapestry that Duggins created by weaving. Let's go ahead and take one minute to look at it. Let your eyes explore, reaching out to the corners. Let's start by thinking like an artist. What do you see? What shapes? Textures? What colors? Go ahead and pause your video so you can write what you noticed on your worksheet or in your notebook. Maybe you noticed the colors green and brown featuring prominently, colors we often associate with nature. Were your eyes drawn to the herd of deer facing the tree? Or did your eyes drift to the upper left corner where a cloud peeks from behind the tree, mimicking the swirling shapes of the leaves? Now let's think like a scientist. We could look at the scene in this tapestry as a representation of an ecosystem. An ecosystem, according to National Geographic, is a geographic area where plants, animals, and other organisms, as well as weather and landscapes, work together to form a bubble of life. In Texas, we have ecosystems like the vast hills and springs here in Austin, the far-reaching deserts in West Texas, and the canyons of the Panhandle. What do we see in this ecosystem? What organisms do we see? What relationships do we see between these organisms? Are there any indications of weather or landscapes? Go ahead and pause and respond. Maybe you focused on the branches of the tree. Are those birds using the branches as support for their nests? Or were you paying close attention to the roots of the tree, where they gather nutrients from the soil? Artists sometimes choose to create works that reflect the world around them. In art, we call this naturalistic. You can see an example of this from the Blanton's collection in Untitled Spring Scene with Cactus by Porfirio Salinas. Doesn't this painting look just like a landscape you might see on a hike here in the hill country? Other times, artists choose to create something out of their imagination. An example of this from the Blanton is Shara Hughes' You're Highly Evolved and Beautiful. This vibrant painting appears to be a landscape featuring flowers and plants, but they're unlike any I've ever seen. 
Does the ecosystem in Black Room South seem naturalistic? Or does it seem to represent an imagined world that references the natural world? Let's pause and respond. Thanks for all of your hard work today. The next time you're at the Blanton, try thinking like an artist and a scientist. As you walk through the museum, pick a work of art and practice the exercises you learned in the video today. Who knows, maybe you'll discover something you've never seen before. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll join us for the other lessons in our STEAM series.